Pushpa Atal may not fit the stereotype of the typical Silicon Valley CEO. She's female, foreign-born, and a mother. Nevertheless, she's one of the many foreign-born women with thriving technology careers in Silicon Valley, where companies are increasingly relying on workers like her. Silicon Valley is known for the entire world about like creating, building great products that millions of people, hundreds of millions of people use it. Silicon Valley, the global center for high-tech innovation, could be renamed Immigrant Valley. It is fueled by foreign-born workers, many of whom are from humble roots. And having worked so hard to get here, many have ambitions beyond their day jobs. Do you want to take this risk and move to a startup? Hey, you know what? I came here all the way. Let's risk it. That drives like everything. In computer science jobs, people born outside the United States make up almost 70% of those in their prime working years. That's especially true for women. Nearly 80% of women in computer and math fields are foreign born. Most are from India and China. Countries like India and China where women, women's roles are often very subservient. Silicon Valley offers a pathway out. Engineering in particular is a pathway towards economic sustainability. Although the tech industry is still mostly male, more and more foreign-born women are finding success here and are rapidly promoted. Lingling Shi, born in China, saw studying technology as her ticket to success in the U.S. Computer science, I mean, for most of us, feel like it's easier to apply green card. It's not my main interest, I'll be honest. Family life is one way that foreign-born women in tech are different than their American counterparts. Despite their demanding careers, they are almost twice as likely to be married, and also much more likely to have children. I think to, to Chinese families, the most important, they will never accept, no matter how successful, like, my parents will not be happy, like, oh, you're a VP of engineer now, but you don't have a kid. Women from India and China are under a set of cultural expectations and norms that they will have a family right away, and they will excel in their careers. So these women are really kind of super women in, in terms of the tasks that they take on. But that parental pressure also comes with perks. Typically for Asian family, like parents will be here when the time you about to deliver the baby, then they will be here for like a half year, one year. Support like that can make a real difference. They will get to those leadership roles a lot more quickly than their American-born peers who don't have the support that they need. They may not be household names or on the covers of business magazines yet, but these immigrants are likely to be the talent fueling the next wave of tech innovation. Dina Mitchell for VOA News, San Jose, California.